you look back when they roasted Joe Hall. I'll never forget again Bobby Knight walking in as a surprise guest on the thing. And that showed me there's a lot of class to Bobby Knight also. He's saying, hey, I've forgotten all these incidents. It was just a fit of anger, and I'm here to, to roast a friend of mine. And he did it. As a special surprise to Coach Hall and all you people here and, and out there, I ran into uh, this mild-tempered fellow that knows, as far as I'm concerned, absolutely nothing about basketball much less Kentucky basketball, but I thought it'd be a good idea to hear from someone really neutral, a complete outsider's opinion about Coach Hall and, and his program and his birthday. Someone that really does not care if Kentucky and Coach Hall ever wins another basketball game. Would you fella, whoever you are, please come up here and take the microphone. So at least you will know, and maybe the people out there in television land will know. Well, thanks, Mr. Horgan. Uh, I, I've seen a, I guess I've just seen one game over here in this building that your team plays in, and, and uh, this crowd can't go to any of those basketball games, because the game that I saw over there, the the crowd that was over there wasn't nearly as nice to the visitors as you people were. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not really a Kentucky fan. Uh, in fact, uh, there have been some times when I've just rooted like hell for you to get beat. <laughs> but it was awfully nice. Uh, Mr. Hegan was out there looking for a for a basketball fan, and I'm a I am. What was that? You you said for sake the guy's name's Hagen and he's my boss. Same Hagen that played with Frank Ramsey. <laughs> uh, boy, I rem I'll tell you, it, Mr. Hagen, it's awfully nice just to be on the same table with you. I, that Ramsey was one hell of a player. I want to tell you that. And, and, and I'll tell you one thing: if you get a chance to talk to your coach, and he doesn't have a radio with him on the bench. If he'd take the radio on the bench, I can almost guarantee you, and if you'll just follow what the hell that guy says, uh, <laughs> Haywood Redford, or whatever the hell his name is, <laughs> man, there ain't any way Kentucky's going to lose again. <laughs> well, I got in, and, and I, I found that, that it's your, uh, your coach's 50th birthday, and, and back where... I'm from, we used to refer to that as kind of going into the metallic age. You got, you know, you got silver in your hair and gold in your teeth and lead in your ass. And I think My relationship in general with coaches has been very, very good. And uh, I have a lot of respect for my fellow coaches. And I see good in all of them. And Bob is a, a coach of tremendous talent and ability. He is a good friend, and uh, we do see each other off the outside basketball and mainly in fishing. But uh, I, I welcome his company and, and his friendship.
I've never seen anything like this in any other state. Joe, I think when they picked us up this morning, they really flew us into Panama or Nicaragua <laughs> or someplace. <laughs> you think we fell asleep on that plane and wound up in Bolivia <laughs> or someplace? But these cypress trees are unique in uh, this part of the country, and there are plenty of them. They look healthy. It certainly is a, a fishy-looking area. Oh, we look at it, and it looks like we're going to catch a lot of fish. And those fish are probably sitting there saying, you think there's any way those basketball coaches can catch any fish?